Yo, this is Jay Crazy. You now rock with Myrtle Ad Productions and Positive Energy. Yo, make sure y'all keep this thing locked there, yo. Word up. Well, we are right back at it. We are in the den. We are live in the lab. Jay Crazy. How you doing, yo? My Anything? dude. Pleasure, How you yo. feeling? Pleasure, pleasure. What well, is my man? Everything good? Oh, it's a legend right here. Nah, we got DJ J Crazy in the this house. Is a legend. <laughs> nah. You know what I mean? Met this guy. William, I met you like two years. Was it like two years ago? I think it was two, two when years you first ago. had me uh, introduced, I was still yeah. living in New York. Yeah, you was. You was just visiting now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, that's dope. So Time goes by fast, man. Yeah, it does, man. Well, my thing is, um, you out here, uh, now that I've go uh, grown and learned to know about the things that you're doing, I know that you're a DJ, you're a producer, you're an MC, you're an entrepreneur, you put on events, mm -hmm. you do a lot of things for the community out here. Uh, I know these things, but uh, DJ Maddie Ray is the one who introduced me, right. you know, to you, right. uh, we kind of know who you are. Right. right. Doing things that are blazing the past. Wh who are you, and what is it that you're doing out here that's like setting yourself apart? So first and foremost, I go by Jay Crazy. Um, I'm a DJ. Um, I'm just at a. I'm just a creative person. So I, I might dibble and dabble in the MC and the singing. Um, a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little secret to myself. Um, and playing music producing here and there um i have some i had like a couple of stuff that i uh, produced with my best friend chris mm -hmm. chris berry uh, he's an actual rapper as well mm -hmm. um he has a, he has a couple of projects shout out to him um but first of all i'm a dj i've been dj since i was like three or four my dad's new dj mm -hmm. um actually a sound boy he had a sound system so oh so that's how you got into it you that's were already it. like playing dance the hall, records and stuff yeah <laughs> dance hall reggae you know <laughs> hip-hop you know, Latin music, all that type mm -hmm. of stuff. So, um, my national background is I'm Guyanese, okay. South American, Caribbean. Shout out to GT. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, all that stuff comes into play. Like, my childhood was music. Like, I would I would go to, like, family parties and, and hang out by the DJ booth, yo. Mm -hmm. That's how serious it was. And I, I think I've, I, I, like, in New York, we grow up fast. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, I always, like, hung out with, like, people that was older than me and, and you know, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So my my uncle, he was, when my dad moved to, to Vegas in 2000, my uncle was there, my uncle David. So he was also a DJ too. And I would just go on the weekends, just stay by his house and play music and stuff like that. My dad left me back his stuff. So, I, you know, I had that as well. Mm -hmm. I had my own sound system. We used to throw parties in middle school. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like on Fridays in the summertime, like springtime going into summertime, we used to have like mad people in the yard in Queens. Um, I grew up in Queens, South Side, Jamaica, Queens, South Oakland Park. <laughs> and um, South also South. East New York, Brooklyn. Um, so my back, I, I'm just like really proud of my up upbringing. Mm -hmm. So I just, you, you know, always brag down from New York. Yeah. It's like a gift, you know. Yeah, man? it's always good to like have that uh, that connection. Like, you know, we out here, we in the middle of the desert, kind of like in the middle of nowhere. Right, so, right. like to have that connection to the cultures or the things or the vibes that we know, like to bring that out there. Of course, we as New Yorkers, as you know, a person right. that's brought from Brooklyn, I know I'm gonna go anywhere in this world. We gonna, you know, you gonna find anybody in this world from Brooklyn or yeah. or from New York. But we're still like adapting to the new surroundings that surround us and then that Definitely. that's the that's the beauty thing about what's going on in las vegas mm -hmm. because it's kind of like a, a a new gold rush for us right where there's like so much open opportunity for us yeah. to shine and show the things that are unique for us that make us unique right you know we can show these things and like you've right. been doing that 
for you know since true and true yeah. yeah 2010 man when i first moved out here it was you know i didn't know anybody though like mm-hmm. you know you um started high school out here um my my uh my dad and my, my stepmom they bought me for uh like some turntables mm-hmm. just to get started i had a mixer and started doing like house parties banquets proms um yo every weekend with my best friend chris mm-hmm. with me and him every single weekend the two illusions that's what we used to call it. I used to call it the two illusions you know what i mean and um we did all that until like senior year of high school he departed went to dc i stayed out here went to community college um started djing um at college parties and stuff like that and Next thing you know, what I was sneaking downtown a beauty bar. I couldn't be by the bar. <laughs> I could just be by the DJ booth and anywhere besides the bar, you know. Mm-hmm. So that was that was pretty cool. I was even sneaking in like some type of clubs and stuff like that. But you know, otherwise, otherwise than that, like, yo, this, this is life, yo. Like, mm-hmm. I love DJing. I love music. I love playing mm-hmm. music. Music is about being creative mm-hmm. and have a creative mind space. You know what I'm saying? Can nobody take that away from you? Mm-hmm. Right, so so let me, so let me ask you. So what do you think? What do you think the uh, the West Coast is, is missing that the East Coast has? Um, the West, I would say, I would say Vegas. I would say Vegas in general. Maybe. I'm not Vegas and a couple more other states, but Vegas, they they're missing the um the Caribbean culture. Mm. And why I say that is because New York is just so versatile. Like we're just so versatile. Mm-hmm. Like. Like there's so many different races and nationalities I love reggae in, in New York. Mm-hmm. So you will hear it everywhere on every radio station. And nobody's closed minds with it. And you won't hear like, oh, take that, take that shit off. You know what I mean? Type stuff. Mm-hmm. Everybody openly listens to it because 197 they play. They have um, Sundays. They have uh, <laughs> massive B. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Massive B. Um, Jabba, Jabba mm-hmm. and Bobby Condors. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? They play reggae and all that. <laughs> I listened to songs since I was like a kid. And they got like um, the Brooklyn radio station, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> reggae is everywhere in New York and then on, on the East Coast. You know, what the thing is on, on the West Coast is that with uh, if we want Caribbean vibes, we go to LA. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We go to LA and they have uh, all the dance hall parties and mm-hmm. the, the 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 carnivals and all that type of stuff. So it makes me feel like home and mm-hmm. if I'm in LA. But New York, I mean Vegas is just like a hit and miss. So and not everybody hip to it. They just hip to like what they know, mm-hmm. and when I say what they know, like the Sean Pauls, the common, mm-hmm. the common Sean reggae Pauls, stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They would never dip out their lane to be like, yo, I'm gonna listen to um, Beanie Man, Mount Killer, Sprague Men's. You know what I mean? Now Vibes Cartel is getting common. Everybody's mm-hmm. knowing them. Everybody will bring them like, oh yeah, you know this about Vibes Cartel? Yeah. yeah Vibes Cartel yeah, came out since long, 1999. Yeah, a long time. When I mean, he was like, incarcerated, he was like, yo, free yeah, Vibes yeah, Cartel yeah. for like a long time. He's still making music like, how the fuck all this music right, coming right. out? Like, so it's like, <laughs> it's like there's so much, and it's so sad too, because there's just so much stuff that they should have known. And I'm like, yo, like so much years of like yeah. dance hall and soca. You know what I mean? Conscious. Now everybody getting into yeah, everybody getting into like Afrobeat now. Afrobeat is like yeah. the new wave when it been the wave like four or five years ago. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody thinks uh Joanna been out is, is just coming out. Nah. That song been out like two, three years ago. Yeah, man. Yeah. Long, long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was, when I hear it, it's like, okay, you guys get into it. Like I play, I was at Goat's Bike, I played uh this past Friday. And everybody was going crazy for it. everybody anywhere I go now, like, they ask for that song. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, cool, play, but it's like, you know, it's old. Yeah. And my whole thing is like, when I DJ, I try to touch every single genre that's like party vibe. Mm-hmm. Whether it's dance hall, you know what I mean, reggae, some of the common reggae stuff they know. But when I play dance hall, when I do a little dance hall segment, I make sure I dip into other stuff mm-hmm. or touch other stuff that a lot of people don't play. You know what I mean? Because that's true. People bringing sets out here is watered down and it's boring. You know what I mean? There's not a lot of DJs out here. I got my brother, DJ Black. I met him like four or five years ago. Six six years ago. Mm-hmm. I call him my family. That's my family no matter what. Can nobody say, say nothing else. You know what I mean? He was like the man on the dance hall scene. Mm-hmm. He's Belizean. Belizean. So we clicked right there and then when I met him, he met me when I was like young. I, he stuck me into a party to play, and 
you know, stuff like stuff like that. And never, never since then, we always click. We have a we have a sound system called Fireheart Sound System. Um, I don't know if y'all could y'all they'll probably bring the picture up and show y'all like how <laughs> our sound system looked. But yeah, um, we're just trying to bring the culture to Vegas. Mm-hmm. We, they, Vegas needs it. Vegas needs to know. They need, they need to that. know. They need to. They, they need to know. It's just like I'm just done playing games with people. So, <laughs> what was the spark that made you think? Or what, what was that aha moment when you were like, yo, nobody's doing bringing like uh, festival vibes or carnival vibes out here. Like, I'm going to start doing it. Like, what made you do it? Like, what was that aha moment? Well, it's not that I started doing it. It's that it just like randomly popped up the, the, the just festivals happened. and the parties and stuff like that. When I met my my, my brother, DJ Block, mm-hmm. um, he actually really put me on the, the dance hall scene because I feel like the dance hall scene is so secretive out here. Like not, a, not like people, people still don't know about it. Mm-hmm. So it's like crazy. Mm-hmm. It's like, y'all didn't know about this and y'all live out here? Like y'all didn't know about these spots and they have dance hall. It's like the, the, the Las Vegas carnival that mm-hmm. just happened. Not a lot of people knew about it, yo. Everybody knew about it last minute. Mm-hmm. So, and it was, it was on the radio. I saw much people don't really pay attention you know what I mean? To know, to, to you know, to see that, like, yo, there's actually stuff out here that y'all can do. And y'all just probably, you know, everybody always try to go to LA every single weekend to catch That's that true. vibe. That's when true. we could build we a could vibe build it out here. here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, we don't need to do that. Yeah, because, yeah. like, on the radios and stuff like that, they're not promoting anything about the reggae culture. They're promoting all the big events, the EDM events. The, um, the summer splashes and stuff like that. Nope, I'm not gonna say nobody. Uh, people really don't care about the radio culture, but it's really under the scene. Like, it's not really on the mainstream yet. But mark my words, in about ten, five to ten years, it might be up in every club. It's it might happen. It's not even that, bro. I just, I just think like Vegas is just late on a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody hip to to stuff very late. Right. And it's well, it's crazy sometimes. Vegas is about the hits. Vegas is about, it's about like because it's, it's always been that way. Think about it. Right. Back if you want to like the Dean Martin days, the Rat Pack days, them them dudes was packing out hits. And think about when they put together the Rat Pack. It was like the who's who of who was at that time. You know what I'm saying? So it was like an all star. It's kind of like the dream team of like <laughs> of artists. You know what I'm saying? Right. So Vegas is known to always want to be like very commercialized. Like you could tell by who has the residencies out here. Rick Ross has a residency. Cardi B has a residency. Right. Drake has a residency. You know what I mean? People who are established. They're not going to like have like, and that's just the hip hop sector. We're not even talking about Donnie and Marie Osmond and like all of the like Lady Gaga like all of the really big 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 names right Neo don't have a residency out here and he's from here huh. Panic at the Disco That's true. They, they from here they don't have a residency out here so like it has to kind of like switch from everything is about the strip the strip the strip but people don't realize that uh, again you know there's this whole scene outside of the strip where we could have a good time and there's a lot of right. things going on here and then like people who actually are coming in from other places could actually not only just enjoy the strip but right. there's other options we have stuff exactly. that's going on like my, my thing is if I think if anything's gonna catch first is downtown point True. blank period downtown as well I think it was where the culture at it's a mixing mm-hmm. ground and, and this, I think sometimes the strip might be scared to do certain stuff because they don't want a certain crime, which is understandable. Um, I just feel like um, people need to get out of their comfort, comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like not too long ago, they just started bringing hip hop artists. That's and true. See hip-hop that artists is true. Like that <laughs> on, the, on the strip. So that they figured out like, yo, everybody's getting hip to this. Mm-hmm. Let's start doing hip hop artists. And that's what you know, generates most of the money. Mm-hmm. Um, just the other day, they brought Afro B, the guy that sing Joanna, to, to light. <laughs> that's, a, that's a game changer. Mm-hmm. That is a game changer. That is a that's game a game changer. changer. To light, that's a game changer. I wish they could do that to more, more artists. Re- reach out to more like reggae and dancehall artists and Afro B artists and be like, yo, we like to book your face. Mm-hmm. That way, people could get in tune like, yo, who's this? Who's this? 
Let me get to know this person. It'll be a good. It'll be Work. a good party. You don't have to know the per the uh, the artist to actually go somewhere. There's been plenty of times where I've fallen into like a, a DJ set or just like a party or like a concert. And I'm like, yo, like G Herbo. Right. Like I wasn't into him. Right. Until I went to A3C, went to a festival. And heard this cat live and was just like, yo, who who's this? And he was like, you don't know about G Herbo? Like, no. Right. Did my research and I was just like, oh, I actually like this. Right. right. Started hearing them more. Like, it, it, some people just are afraid to get out of the comfort zone. Like, uh, just like, I don't want to get into depth with it, but like, some, uh, like we, we would say the masses, they want to hear a certain sound. Right. They want to hear a certain but, sound. But it, get, it gets whack. It gets whack sometimes. And like, not for a lot of people though. It yeah, that's true. But like, I feel like people force certain type of shit on us. That's like, true. Was forced to listen to EDM. That's true. Like, I like it. I like house music. Mm -hmm. You know, they just call it EDM because it's like electro mm -hmm. dance music. But but it's it's house. <laughs> there was a lot of people that was forced to listen to it, in which they now like it now. So why can we not force? The reggae, dance hall, soak and Afrobeat on people so they can like it. You know what I mean? And it starts it starts with in Vegas in general in um in general, it starts with the, the music director directors. You know what I'm saying? They don't want type certain type of stuff playing in these clubs. But see that's why as being being a DJ, like so when we play Joanna, we can also throw in like maybe like two or three more Afro beats that nobody right. heard mm -hmm. before. Exactly. Yeah. And my my whole thing is yo, like when I DJ, it's not for me to just do a whole hour reggae dance hall set. I'm hitting y'all with his everything. Can hit his. I'm not no. I'm not. I don't want to be labeled as a certain type of DJ. Call myself all purpose DJ. J crazy all purpose DJ crazy group. All purpose. <laughs> all purpose. All purpose. I'm playing everything. I'm hitting every type of genre. Hip hop, top forty, pop, house, reggae. And then yeah, it has to just make sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It may, and I, and I, I try to make sense of my, out of my sets. You know what I'm saying? And I, I get love from a lot of people. And then um, some, there's some people that just <laughs> don't want to show love, and that's cool. But one thing with me, I always show love. My man, Manny Ray, show love. You always show love. And that's what I'm going to keep on doing. Because mm -hmm. I feel like when you keep on doing that, you're like, damn, yo, he's really showing love. Maybe I should mm -hmm. show love too. That's going to give people like a second thought. Like yo, he's not no hater. He's he's a real person that actually supports people and show love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, there's so much. There's so much. There's so much. It's a, it's a lot, man. Especially this one thing I've, I've been I've been just hearing about. Like people was like, oh no, you you know you go you go out right, you go out and you support somebody, right. but you're only going out to support them to have a an ultimate goal in the back of your mind like oh I'm gonna keep coming out to support yeah. maybe I can get a gift from this person but I don't see I don't I don't look at it like that I just right. go out and support because right. I remember not having support right and that's why I go out and not support yeah and, that, and that's my whole thing too I don't want I don't want to take nobody's spot or step on anybody's toes right. and it's it's impossible <laughs> like yo in, in 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 Vegas you gotta know a whole bunch of people like I'm like I feel like I Paid, I paid my dues and I'm still paying them and I don't have no problem with that. It's just that sometimes it's just, it's just getting old sometimes. You're like, where else or what else do I do next? What's my next step? My All next right. plan? Well, it's changing. It's, you're being a pillar. It takes us being pillars of changing that format. Right. Whether if it's right. in the forefront, the back front, or just all around, like the things that I've been seeing since I've been out here, and I've been out here for what, like a year, like a couple of months, not that long. But from what I've seen through this turn is that there's a lot of people shape-shifting and moving things because music is changing. Mm -hmm. And people are identifying that music is changing. And I could kind of see, as well as out here, that not only off the strip, but also on the strip too. Cause we're always talking about like that spot on the record. Like mm -hmm. they've been playing Those some spot. stuff in there. Oh, they've been right. playing that Shout stuff. Shout out to McDonald. Yeah. Shout out to McDonald. You know, they've been right there. Right. making sure that music is being played. So it's like it's not yeah. as much as we've seen. But like I said, like being a pillar. Right, like you, that's why I'm like honored that you're on the show. So like, thank you. I appreciate I, I appreciate, you, appreciate 
what I, you're doing. And I try, man. I really do. Yeah. And and I'm I just came from humble um, beginnings. Mm -hmm. And um, yo, my my only goal is just to make people know what the hell is going on. I just want to see people vibe out the way how I vibe out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much music out there, like that everybody could love, yo. And not just one type of, yo. Know, music i knew you were serious yeah. when you brought out the 45s that one day i saw you i was like yo i know yeah man <laughs> he bringing out the 45s and playing those we're oh, like that's a lost art yo. oh not, my god i had i had not seen that in a long time i was I just like that. i was i was i was floored i love vinyl yo yeah yo. and as young as i am well 24 but i just feel like like being around like my uncle, my you know, my dad, like they taught me, actually taught me the foundation. I'm glad I like obtained the foundation of DJing and mm -hmm. learning music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The foundation music, where it all where it all came from, it all started. I, I think that's what makes me who I am, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm.